In today's workout, I'm going to combine Olympic style movements mixed with boxing to give you a very unique and exciting workout. Hi, my name is Chris and this is my wife, Annetta Hunter. Hi guys. And we are owners of Punch Fit, where we forge mental toughness and now bringing fitness into your home. And I'm also very fortunate to have with me Alicia, who is a member that's been with us for over six months. And since she's been with us, she has lost, well, last time we talked was 30 pounds. Where are you at now? 35. 35. Mm -hmm. Now, I wish I can take all the credit for that, but the reality of it is, I think we're the easy part. The hard part is everything that Alicia's doing outside the gym. Um, and that's where she's completely changed her lifestyle and then her style of nutrition. Mm -hmm. I mean, a couple days ago, you were telling me that you had your mom going all the way to Milwaukee to pick up- uh, Some egg thins. Yes. <laughs> So she's really into this hardcore, and as a result, she is starting to see all those awesome changes. Hopefully we'll have her along with some extra videos so you can actually see those changes happening. Um, over to my right over here, we have Mindy. Very fortunate to have her. She is a drill and star, uh, sergeant for the Navy. So thank you very much for joining us, appreciate it. Doesn't have a lot of free time, so it means a lot that she's able to come here and help us out. Before we get started, it's important to note that Mindy and Alicia both have their hands wrapped. However, Annetta is working with Wadis. The main reason for that is in this particular workout, Annetta is going to be working with a barbell, and it's very difficult to manage that barbell while wearing wraps. But she is working out with the Hayabusa T3 glove. What's very unique about this glove is the design is actually set to help you work out and punch without wraps. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that to everybody. Annetta, keep in mind, she does punch regularly six to seven times a day, uh, a day with our workouts. So she's very familiar and comfortable with punching. So if you're new to boxing fitness, I highly recommend that you wrap your hands. With that being said, you guys ready? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. Yes. All right, I'm gonna step out of the way and let the ladies do their work. So let's go ahead and start with the warm up. Start with jumping jacks and go. Now, if you find the jumping jacks too aggressive, go ahead and match Alicia's pace. She's doing a scaled version of the jumping jack. Perfect, from there, let's go ahead and put your arms out straight and then do small circles forward. Doing good, doing good. Let's get those shoulders nice and warm, a little bit bigger now. Bigger, good, all the way. And from there, make those arms straight again, small circles backwards. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Good, all the way from there, your hands are on the tabletop. Go ahead and rotate on the ball of your foot. Now it's very important when that you're doing this movement that you make sure that you rotate on the ball of the foot because we want to wake up your ankle. Now from here, go ahead and throw a punch off to the ceiling and really reach for something. I want you to feel that stretch in your back as well as your bicep. Good, now go off to the side. Down at the floor. Good, from there your arms are straight out again. Go ahead and give me some windmills now, windmills. Now we're waking up the glutes and the hamstrings. Perfect. From there, go ahead and go into some air squats. Go ahead and give me air squats. So the goal is to go as low as you comfortably can before your heels start to lift. Knees should trace over the first two toes. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Keep your back nice and straight. All right, let's get into our fighting stance and start moving forward and back, forward and back. Perfect. So from here, the way that they're set up, the hips are square. Arms are in protecting the ribs. Hands are up protecting the jaw. 
chin is tucked, protecting the throat. Let's take this as an opportunity to go through some of our combinations. Go ahead and throw combo number one. Every time that front foot touches down, throw out the jab. So combo number one is just the jab. Good. Good, go ahead and throw combo two, which is the jab cross. Notice that when they're doing this movement and they're bringing out their hands, they're bringing the shoulder up to protect the jaw. The elbows run parallel to the ground and the wrist snaps out at the last second. Head always stays straight. Let's go ahead and throw that into combo number three, jab cross hook. It's very important that you look at Annetta's foot here when she throws those hooks. Her heel's gonna come up and she's snapping her hips forward. Let's go ahead and turn that into combo number four. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Good, 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 keep going. All right, for the last 15 seconds, go ahead and give me some sprawls and go. If you find the sprawl too aggressive, go ahead and stay with Alicia on this one. We've got five seconds, three, two, one, and time. Good, so let's go through a quick overview of what this workout is. Let's have everybody set up their stations. Don't know high fives yet, you haven't earned those yet. Oh, that's okay, I did that warm up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with Alicia. If this is the fitness level that you can identify with, definitely stick with her throughout the entire workout. She's gonna start with an intro level to the power clean workout. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. She's gonna go ahead and start with a deadlift. Hex head's pointing down. She's gonna go down, deadlift up. Use her hips to get the dumbbells into the rack position. Go ahead and show us that one more time. Good, perfect. Go ahead and put the dumbbells down. Now Alicia's gonna show us push-up. So the next thing that she's gonna do is a push-up using the bench. Go ahead, give us two push-ups. Perfect, right after the push-ups, she's gonna go into um, burpees. So go ahead and show us the burpee. The version that Alicia is doing is the squat jump. Perfect, save some energy for the class. <laughs> Come on over here by Mindy. Now Mindy's going to use the sandbag, which is about 40 pounds. Go ahead and show us what the power clean looks like on the sandbag, perfect, and one more. Awesome, then from there she's gonna drop the sandbag and she's gonna go down to push-ups. Give us two good solid push-ups. Perfect, and then from there she's gonna face the wall and go into burpees. Down to the ground and all the way back up, one more. Perfect, now Netta's gonna be working with the barbell. So she's gonna use the barbell and she's gonna go ahead and give us a total of two power cleans. Good, and then one more. Now for the push-up, she's actually gonna go down to the bar and keep her hands on the bar when she does her push-ups. Go ahead and give me two. Good, and then from there, she's gonna change the burpee into a little bit more of an intense version and she's gonna do the burpees over the barbell. Show us what that looks like. Now, from there, it's important to keep in mind that with these movements, if any of them look foreign to you, don't do them unless you have a certified trainer helping you out so that they could check your form as well as help you pick the right weights to use for this particular workout. So we're gonna go in about 20 seconds now, so make sure that your stations are all set up. Now Annette is gonna be the pace setter and the goal is to do anywhere between eight to 10 reps in 30 seconds and then transition to the next movement. And then after that, go into the following movement from there. Here we go and go. Oh, perfect. Nice job, good form. We're gonna be doing eight reps of everything. Now we're going to push-ups and go. Total of eight push-ups. Maintain that perfect plank. 
Keep your body locked out. Think about pushing the ground away from you. And now we're doing burpees. And go. Total of eight. So again, pick a fitness level that you can identify with and stick with that person throughout this entire workout. Perfect, all right, let's get on the bags. All right, so what I'm gonna do is call out our combinations. And if you don't know the combinations, don't worry. The goal is just to keep working and to stay into the fight. We got about a minute and 30 seconds here. I'm gonna be working with Alicia on the mitts. The other ladies are gonna be doing the combinations on the bag. All right, you ready? Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, two, six, Three, four, two, five, three, two, four, three, two. All right, let's move around a little bit. Let's move around. We got 47 seconds. Three, four, three, two, four, six. Three, two, five. Three, two, four. All right, from here, straight punches. Everybody, go, go, go. 20 seconds. Left, right, left, right. Keep going. Stay in the fight. Stay in the fight. Go, 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 go. 10 seconds. Keep going. Good, good, good. Almost there. Three. Two, one, and time. Nice job. <laughs> All right, so we have a minute break now. So go ahead and, and head and use that. Use it as an opportunity to grab something to drink. Also, either use this time to increase or decrease your weights as well. So if you found that you can lift a little heavier, go ahead and do that. If it seemed like you can only get anywhere between four to five reps in that 30 seconds, the weight's too heavy and you need to adjust down. If you find that you were flying through it and you ended up getting anywhere between 10 to 12 reps, you need to slow yourself down a little bit and increase the weight. Don't go too far, we got 20 seconds. So again, we're gonna go ahead and start with the cleans. We're sticking with eight reps. We're gonna go right into the push-ups. There's no break in between. And then we're going right into the burpees right after that. All right, guys, get ready. Here we go. And go. Perfect. Now the reason that we pick these particular movements is because I want the clean to fatigue all the major muscle groups in your body. Then after that, we have you transition right away to the push-up, so that way you can feel what it's like to have to punch when your punching muscles are completely fatigued. And then the burpee is gonna increase your heart rate, get that adrenaline going, and then from there, you have to go right into fighting. Now, for this round, when we're all done, Minnie's gonna be working with me on the mitts. Aneta and Alicia are gonna be working on the bags. So stick up, or keep up with us. All right, let's go ahead and get the gloves. Once you're done with the burpees. Come on, Annette, you're slowing down, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's get those gloves on. There's no time to wait. Right away, get those gloves on. We got a minute and 30, about a minute and 40 seconds left here. All right, get ready. Keep up with us on the bag. Here we go. You ready, Mindy? 
And two, three, four, five. Pop, 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 boom, boom. Give me a cross, a hook, rear knee, right uppercut, left hook, right cross, combo number two. Three, five, two, three. Pop, pop, boom. Give me a right knee. Right cross, I almost ate that one left hook. Combo three. Having a great blooper. Two, four, three, right knee, right uppercut, left hook, right cross, bob and weave. Come back with a cross hook, cross, combo number three. Two, four, three, two, five, boom, three, two, four, three. Rear knee, left hook, right cross, bob and weave, cross hook cross, combo three. Two, four, three, six. Good, we got 10 seconds. Two, three, five, two, four, two, three, and time. Awesome job. So we're gonna go ahead and take a break. You've got a minute break, use it however you like. Grab something to drink. While you're taking this break, I just wanna show you a little bit of a clip of what we do in our regular punch fit classes. And then we'll be right back and continue on with round three of four. Second countdown, get back to your bars, get back to your equipment. We're going in three, two, one, and go. Now make sure you listen to your body because if you're doing this right, you should be exhausted. Make sure your form is still perfect. When you do those burpees over the bar, if you're following a netta, remember that bar is probably gonna feel about a foot and a half, two feet off the ground now instead of six inches because of the fatigue. So listen to your body. If you can't get over the bar, just go ahead and do burpees next to the bar. Now when Annette is doing these push-ups here, these are very intense push-ups. Not only is she pushing away from the ground, but she's also fighting the barbell because it wants to move forward and back. Good, good, good. Looking good. All right, let's get those burpees done. This time Annette will be with me on the bag, or on the mitts. Everyone else will be on the bags. <clears throat> doing good, doing good. I'm gonna grab my focus mitts. <clears throat> Good form, good form. Go ahead and get those gloves on when you're ready. All right, stay with us. I know you're tired, but stay in the fight. Your hair looks fine, babe. Let's go. <laughs> She's in the face. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready, and combo number one, two. Good power, three, four. Give me a rear knee, right uppercut, left hook, bob and weave to the right, hook, cross, hook, combo two, four, three, five, two, boom, cross, hook, three, boom, 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 two, nine, three, two, four. Give me a defense. Come back with hard right cross. Four, two, three, five. Stay in the fight, we're almost done, we're almost done. We got 30 seconds, two, cross, duck, cross, hook, 
Rear knee, right uppercut, left hook, right cross, bob and weave to the right, cross hook cross, combo three. Boom, boom, boom. Two, four, two, cross, cross, three, 10 seconds, two, four, three, five, two, three, and time. Good job, that was almost a black eye. All right, Good. so we're gonna take a quick break. I wanna show you a new shirt that we just came out with, and then when you come back, Aneta is actually gonna take over, and now I'm gonna do the workout. All right, That's so right. stick with us. The Operator T-shirt is a new release from PunchFit and is for the individual that uses fitness to harden the mind and savage the body to prepare themselves for the challenges life will throw at them. The person that wears this shirt has a no-quit attitude, strengthening their body in and out of the gym and sees adversity as just another rep in a set that has to be completed till failure. We are all fighting for something, whether it be weight loss, strength gain, mental toughness, maybe even confidence issues. It doesn't matter. That is your battle and this shirt is for you. Fight for something, stay disciplined, and never quit. Ready? Two, oh, one, and go! Look at you guys. You guys doing an awesome job. It's not bad. Actually, for some of you, it's fourth round. For some of you, it's the first round. Looks good, looks really good. I think I will enjoy working on the mitts. All right, guys, time for push-ups. Whenever you're ready. The form looks awesome. A little bit. That's it. We're getting close. So again, they're doing eight of everything. Eight burpees over the bar. They did eight push-ups and they start with eight power cleans. All right. So let me grab a mitt. Oh, that's it. That's the final round. All right, let's move that bar out of the way so it'll have a little bit more room. Oh, yeah. Hi, right, get ready. There's no break. Not yet. You have to earn that break. Hi, right, two, one, and four. That's it. One, two, four. Nice power, I love it. Four. Right knee, right cross. Beautiful. The left hook. That's it. Eleven. Four. Right body shot. The left hook, right cross. Seven. That's it. Nine. Beautiful. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Nice. Two. Six. Four. Three. Seven. Eleven. Getting close. Four. Five. Six. Six. And high. Oh. Woo. Awesome job, everyone. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I did one round. Okay. You guys are all. Hi, guys. So all right. take off your staff. Put to the side. And then Chris. We'll finish with the war uh, stretch. Why don't you give us one of your great stretches? Oh my gosh, one of mine. Okay. Hi right, guys. Make some room. Put your arms up. 
Keep your feet a little bit wider. Now bring your right arm under your chin, and then we'll hold it for a few seconds. And enjoy and relax. Yes. Yeah, that was good. All right, the same arm, put behind your back. Grab that elbow. If you want it, some of you guys, you can bend to the side, hold it. If not, just stand up. Beautiful. And relax. Let's stretch your grip. Fingers pointed down. Keep that elbow locked. Put your fingers up and hold it. How you guys feel? Good. Good. You guys work hard. Four rounds. Palm facing up, the same arm. Four full rounds. Oh yeah. Good, relax. Switch arms. Now left arm under your chin. Breathe in and out. The same arm, put behind your back. Beautiful. Bend to the side. Hold it and relax. And then fingers pointed down. Okay, stretch your grip. You guys work so much. And your grip. You guys work punching. Relax, palm facing up. Whew. I feel tired a little bit. <laughs> Just watching you guys. Good, and relax from here. Step forward with your left leg. Stay on your heels, slightly bend your right. Lean forward if you can. Reach your toes and hold it. It's a nice stretch in your hamstring and your calf. Keep your back nice and tight. And switch side. Let's do the same thing. Looks good. Eyes. Back, now from here, you're going to step to your left side. You're going to shift your weights to the left. You can stay up to here if you're more comfortable, more flexible. You can go all the way down and hold it, stretch. That's it, hold it. Ooh. Keep those food nice and flat. Switch side. Good, hold it. And from here, go back to the center and then go down on your right knee. Going to step forward with your left leg. Don't go super far because you want to shift your weights forward. You want to stretch your hip flexor and hold it. Okay. So, Chris, how was that round? That was easy, right? All right, good. Relax, shift your weights back. Oh, I'm not breathing heavy. I'm good. <laughs> oh yeah, you took a break there. Oh, I know. That was fun actually watching you guys. Beautiful. Let's switch side. This time you are down on your left knee. <clears throat> right knee is up. Shift your weights forward. Hold it. So, if you guys like that video, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Shift your weights so back. Way, Good. From here, go down on your all fours. Let's do a child pose. So you're going to sit down on your butt, walk your hands forward, keep your arms nice and straight, and hold it. Enjoy the breath, the rest. It's a great stretch on your back and your legs. Good, move your arms to the right side and then hold. To the left side and hold. And then from here, go back again to the center and hold. Good, from here, lay down on your stomach and then bring your chest up. Look up the ceiling and hold. And the last thing, stay on your toes, lift your butt up, downward dog, and hold it. Now you can bring your legs together, and then from here, you're going to bend your left knee, and hold, switch, side and hold, switch, and switch again, and just a few more times, alternate. All right, guys, and the last thing, walk your hands up into your legs and slowly, slowly get up. 
An awesome job, guys. Yeah. High five. Awesome. Ooh. Awesome. awesome. Give me oh, again. Yeah. That's better. High five. Yes. Good. So be sure to subscribe yes. to our page. Oh, yes. Like the video <laughs> and leave any comments and make sure you hit on the bell for notifications. Yes. Until next time, this is Chris, Anetta, Alicia, and Mindy. And Mindy. Thank you for training with us. And we look forward to next time. Yes. Good job. Good job. Yes. And